Spoilers. Well, one thing we've been doing the movie reviews here, we did an action film back on the second week of August, The Night Comes For Us, uh, which is a good film on um, Netflix. Uh, this is another film we will be discussing that is on Netflix. Uh, Netflix itself. It came out more recent. Uh, but before we start, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share this video. Uh, we've taken the summer off, the rest of the summer off, some time off, some well rested, and to prepare the fall season for both of our shows, Man Man with the Show, and also Saturday Pre Flight. Uh, so, so we've created a little additional content just for you. Uh, some film reviews, some some discussions on certain topics so enjoy them and uh on with the show a bit uh so netflix itself uh we've had some films that are not talked about you know you hear all the big films and stuff like that and there's some nice little indie films like i said we discussed the night comes for us which is very good uh this one uh Sp it's a spanish film that um came out more recently uh, 2021. Uh, it is a film done by uh, the uh, cinematography is by Danny Arano. It, and like I said, it's a Spanish. It's out of Spain. Uh, it's called Extreme. It is an action thriller martial arts slash martial arts. Uh, stars Theo Garcia, Oscar Jalenta, Sergio um, Versus Menchada, uh, Oscar Casas, An Andrea Duro, Alberto Jolie, uh, Luis Zarea, and many others that are in this film. Uh, the main premise of the film itself, it's a nice basic premise to it. It is uh, basically two years after the murder of his son and father, a retired hitman sets in motion a carefully crafted revenge plan against the killer who happens to be his own brother. And the premise is good. And uh, basically the situations itself, uh, it is a little bit over the top uh, to some of the action in there. I mean, the, fir the first half hour of the movie is pretty intense itself. Uh, the director on this is uh, Daniel Ben, ben Mayer, um, who's known for a lot of indie stuff. Uh, Tracers, Brock, Aljo Concierto. Uh, nothing major that most people would know, unless you're familiar with a lot of the Spanish uh, films itself. Uh, the tra when you see the trailer, the trailer looks great. I mean, this is, happens to be one thing. Uh, like I said, it is a great premise. But unfortunately, it does falter a bit. I mean, it gets a little crazy to the situation. Um, more of the presence is uh, its brother and sister, really, that basically are trying to get revenge on this. It is the plan that they've been hatching. Now, there's a young uh, teen that gets involved into the situation who happens to be uh, sort of, he works for um, one of the dealers selling drugs. Uh, he makes some extra money, so at least he'd be able to um, help uh, his family. He's doing this under the cover. Uh, you know, he has a brother, you know, the family on there. And uh, not to give too much away, he ends up to be in tragedy. Because uh, they, when uh, basically the, when Max gets involved in the situation to help him, uh, basically it kind of opens up Pandora's box and basically a lot of innocent people end up dying to the, to the tune of this series. Now, like I said, there's a lot of great action. There's a lot of good fights. Some of it, you can call, if you like a B, uh, I, I would have to, to the parameters. If you like a good B movie from like the eighties and nineties on those, some of those action flicks, that are not well known um, that okay some of the fight is believable and some of it is not yeah ex then extreme is for you uh, if you're we're expecting something that is something closer to the night comes for us or a lot of the other action flicks that you would get out of Spain and Indonesia and Asia 
Uh, no, it's not to that perspective. Um, I mean, the sword fight scene starts a lot a little good, but it, you know, the samurai scene, but it falters out. It doesn't end to be to the way you expect it. Uh, you know, so, some of the, some of the, um, parts of this movie has a couple plot holes that literally you could drive a truck through, uh, it delivers in certain points and then falters in on, on the rest. Uh, but I could say, is it worth a one go round? Yeah, it is. It's worth a it's worth a one go round. But that's it, a one go round in itself. Like I said, if you like that kind of genre, that B film type, I think they didn't expect it to be this way. But somewhere in the writing, I think they lo they lost. Um, where they were going with this. And I expected a lot more into this where, you know, he's been hiding for two years. You know, it just took this kid for him to come out and they realized that he's still alive. And, you know, some, some of the hit people, the hit, hit men and stuff like that just turn out to be really, you know, uh, how can you put this perspective? Red shirts. Star Trek red shirts, you know, you beam down, you know, they die immediately. This is one of those types that, you know, it just ends up to be. And then there are some that just basically please die already. Just end up falling and die because, you know, the fight has gone a little bit too long at this point. So, like I said, it's a one shot. If you want to go toward this, uh, it is in English. It is dubbed in English or you can catch it in Spanish as well. Um, so, you know, net, it's on Netflix. Do catch it if you want. Uh, like I said, don't highly recommend it, but hey, you know, sometimes if you don't have something to watch, eh, maybe on there. Uh, it wasn't too popular on there. It got a low rating, uh, not too many stars on there. So you reached this part of the video. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye now.